as a new skiing enthusiast, we wanted to go skiing one more time this season and experience a winter scenery. And where better than in the French Alps to experience this in March, as the ski season there lasts almost until mid-April. For our wandering, this time we choose the Serre Chevalier Valley, which is located in the Haute Alpes Department, Provence Alpes Côte d'Azur region. The exact location is in the village of Chantemerle. Our wonderful and large apartment is composed of a huge living room, a fully equipped kitchen, two bathrooms, three bedrooms, and a large terrace. After unpacking and discovering everything this apartment has to offer, it's time to explore the village and its surroundings. Chantemerle is a typical quiet Alpine village focused on enjoying the sport activities. At the beginning of exploring the village, a small market awaits us with local delicacies and local products. We continue our journey through small streets and descend to the river Gizan. We return up the street and visit the church of Saint-Jacques le Majeur of Chantemerle. Throughout the village, there are apartments, holiday homes and hotels. We soon find ourselves at the end of the village and continue our walk to the neighboring village of saint chaffray which boasts an old bridge dating from 1925. Its mechanism allows torrential rains and all the materials they carry to pass freely without risking obstruction at deck level and subsequent flooding of dwellings. Here too, we make a quick stop in a small church and return back to our village. The path leads us past a small shopping street where you can find all what is needed supermarket, pharmacy, bakery, butcher and other various shops. We cross the road and find ourselves in front of one of the starting points of the Serre Chevalier Ski Resort which is the largest ski area in the southern French Alps and one of the largest ski areas in Europe with its 82 runs and 80% of them are located at more than 2000 meters. It connects three villages of Chantemerle, Villeneuve, Monetier-les-Bains and the town of Briançon. It was in Chantemerle that Serre Chevalier set off in December 1941 with the inauguration, then one of the longest cable cars in Europe with its emblematic red cabin. Since then, Serre Chevalier has continuously maintained the status of pioneer in many respects and became an exceptional place apart from being just key resorts where nature is omnipresent. Serre Chevalier offers many activities throughout the whole year, apart from skiing, such as cross-country skiing, snowshoe hiking, ice skating, relaxing at the spa resort, hiking, cycling, mountain biking, climbing, kayaking, paragliding, and sightseeing. After getting acquainted with our nearest ski resort, we take the road to visit next ones. On the way, we spot amazing waterfall and of course we have to stop and admire it. But just from the side of the road, Cascade de la Piste near Mizoen is a tall waterfall with a total height of 270 meters and is often used for climbing via ferrata. Not far from it, we stopped at artificial lake Chambon on the Romanche River created by a Chambon dam. Construction of the dam began in 1929 and lasted six years and unfinished, the impoundment started and gradually swallowed up three villages. At that time, it was the highest dam in Europe. After approximately 10 minutes of winding road and around 600 meters elevation gain, we reached Les Deux Alpes Ski Resort. This ski resort is known by the largest skiable glacier in Europe and by being France's second oldest ski resort after Chamonix. It has the longest 2300 meters, normally open full on piste vertical, available in the world. The glacier enables year-round skiing, 
although the lifts are only open from mid-June to the end of August in summer and December to end of April in winter, with some dates in October too. We take a little walk in the town. Time for a little break to enjoy some hot chocolate and tea on a terrace of a bar with the view on ski slopes and surrounding mountains. In summer, Elie de Zalpe becomes a popular venue for downhill and free ride mountain biking with access to the glacier via Gendry Express gondola lift with a yearly event named Mountain of Hell. With more than 2,000 permanent inhabitants, the town welcomes around 30,000 visitors on high season weekends. That makes it one of the liveliest ski resorts in France. It has a good selection of shops, a wide choice of cafes and restaurants, plenty of lively bars, plus three nightclubs. There's also a cinema, two bowling alleys, and a number of spas and beauty salons. Even if we are here in March, we can see a lot of people which confirms the reputation of the highly lively ski resort. And for the last stop of our first day, we head to Alpe d'Huez, which is located on opposite side, meaning more windy or down and up, but totally worth it. Arriving to the Alpe d'Huez, first thing we notice are full parkings and again, lots of people. Alpe d'Huez is one of the Europe's premier skiing venues. The resort gained popularity when it hosted the bobsleigh events of the 1968 Winter Olympics. Also called the island in the sunshine, this resort enjoys long periods of sunshine, an average of 300 sunny days per year and a particularly active microclimate. It's also known internationally as an iconic cycling venue, as it's used regularly in the Tour de France cycle race, and in 2019, it became the site of the first Tomorrowland Winter Festival. Alpe d'Huez is the ideal place for lots of activities, sports, cultural and relaxing. But it's also resorts with big events during the whole winter. As the sun is slowly setting down, we take a little walk around the resort to admire ski slopes, sledge on rails, streets, with all the chalets, hotels, bars, restaurants, shops, open ice skate rink. The Our Lady of the Snow Church, Notre Dame des Neiges, l'Alpe d'Huez, is a modern and original church, the appearance of which recalls the silhouette of the Virgin Mary. It was designed in the 1960s, completed in 1970, and decorated with color-rich stained glass windows. This church houses a pipe organ, which is unique in the world. The organ takes the form of a hand drawn up towards the sky. We finish this day with the sunset over the ski slopes and, of course, the road back to our apartment in Champmerle. After a full day of major ski resorts and a good night's sleep, we decide for skiing its smaller but charming ski resort called Bellevue Val Louise. Don't forget that we are complete beginners, well, at least one of us, and other one is super supportive at that. Ideally located on the edge of the Écran National Park, the village resort of Bellevue is a paradise for nature lovers and those that prefer a more close nicked resort. You will be able to enjoy many activities such as cross-country skiing, snowshoeing, paragliding, dog sledging, or even relaxing in the mobile sauna. 
Bellevue provides the main access to the resort via les Essars at an altitude of 1230 meters and has all the shops you will need during your stay. Seeing all of this, let's rent our gear and let's try those beginner slopes. Considering that it's a smaller resort and that we are almost in the middle of March, we are super happy since we can enjoy slopes almost all by ourselves, which gives us a lot of space and time to practice no plow, turning techniques and stopping. The weather is absolutely perfect. It's quite warm, so we stop skiing around one because snow is getting too soft. We must say that we are happy with our choice of resort. Close to the resort, there is an artificial Bellevue icefall and we go to check it out. Preparing and securing the site, clearing unstable rocks is carried out each year by volunteers and mountain guides from the Bureau des Guides des Écrans. The climbers can climb a wonderful icefall from January to mid-March. While it's still relatively unknown, many ice enthusiasts visit it each day and its reputation will soon grow. After seeing this interesting creation and seeing climbers in person, we take direction of Puy Saint Vincent, which is located few minutes away, to check out the resort. Situated close to the Ecran National Park, Puy Saint Vincent Ski Resort is comprised of three hamlets, Le Puy, Les Alberts, and Les Presses, that span a 1,400 meters high, sunny mountainous balcony. The advantageous position of the villages lends itself to great views over the Valois Valley. The ski resort of Puy Saint Vincent is called with reason La Protégée des Vents, village shelter from the wind, benefiting from the high peaks that surround it. Little tired from skiing here, we decide to recharge our batteries on sun chairs overseeing the slopes. After this refreshment, we go to check out the last ski resort in our plan. That result ski resort nestled in the heart of the white forest. The resort has been sympathetically designed using local larch wood and the pink stone of Guillestre region. Very pleasant for a purpose-built center, Rizul has the largest doorstep skiing area in the Southern Alps, being linked to Vars. Beasts are usually quiet with lift cues, a rarity, unlike the sun, which shines 320 days a year. The compact nature of the resort means most guests will find they can get from apartments to rentals to ski school to lessons to shops to bars and restaurants without too much stress. Which we experience on our way from parking because all is reachable by foot in a few minutes. After this short walk, our stomachs dictate us to stop and eat something. And for that, we choose restaurant next to the ski slope and of course, traditional food. On today's menu, tartiflette and croziflette. With our stomach satisfied and full of nice impressions of this day, we head back to our base in Chantemerle. <laughs>